right, the next part of this case study is, so we've, we've created our proposed grade. Okay, it's not perfect, but for this case study, it's pretty good. You can see how we're going to be able to drive into this garage now that was way out of the ground, but we've got fill dirt that we're going to have to bring in here, and I'm anxious to find out how much fill dirt is required for this job. Okay, um, I want to do now is I'm going to cut off this foundation, and you'll see that I have this big gaping hole in there. It's not doing us any good. It is not a solid when I click on this object here or this uh, group. It has no volume because it, is a, it has a hole in it. All right, but what I want to do, when I cut on this foundation, I want to get down to the bottom of my excavation now. In my case, I've got a four inch slab sitting on top of four inches of gravel, which you'll see underneath here. And you'll see on my interior footings and so forth. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw a rectangle for now just to get a base established. And then I'm going to um, cut off the foundation and that's going to be where I want the bottom of the foundation to be. All right. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and explode it. Okay. And what I want to do is I want this thing to be a I want this flat section here, the bottom of my excavation, to be the bottom of this whole, whole entire cut here, um, except for in the garage. In the garage, I'm going to be filling that up, but I'm going to be filling it up. In my case, I'm going to be filling it up with gravel because I don't want to put dirt back in there. Um, so we'll see how we're going to address that here, but I want to get, I'm going to start by drawing um, a line from here down, and I want to go, I'm going to hold shift to infer, I'm going to hold it going down, but I want to infer the bottom of, uh, it's not cooperating, oh, okay, because it's hardly any. I want to infer this point from here, okay? That's how minimal we've got of, uh, of an excavation. Okay. I'm going to start drawing these. I'm going to go from here and infer the bottom point of that and create just kind of like we were doing that skirt before. And I have to do that around every one of these points. every intersection. And notice how it's nicely inferring the previous ones. And this should all be the same four inches down below because I went to the bottom of the slab when I did that. So this should all be uniform. up so you're not bored with it. as we climb up. Just remember to hold down the shift key and it'll infer whatever point you're looking for, which is right there.
in this case I'm going to go straight across and now I have the bottom there. The reality is I've left this dirt for the most part uh, unaffected from the original grade. I'm going to cut on the existing site just for a second and you'll see where we were originally. I'm going to try something here because this is not what I was planning on doing but I'm going to take this down until it hits on the face of that. I'll do the same thing up here. figuring something out on the run. Let's cut our, uh, I'm going to undo that one and I've lost my hidden geometry. So let's go back to viewing hidden geometry. Yeah, I had several spots along the way that I was supposed to do that I did not. like making something up while you're doing the video. Okay, I'm going to cut off the existing site now. And we've got a little bit of a mess there, but why not um, see if we can just make some solids out of this. Or some planes out of this, I should say. Let's take each of these bounding edges one sliver and it will. Okay, so we've taken we've taken all those and now we're going to use the from contours again. So now we've created that. It's getting there. We still have this little area to close off in here, but I want to go in through here and remember we need to explode that. Okay, so now now let's see why we're not getting a little closed shape here. Let's do a line there and a line there. All right, now we should have all that we need if we, yeah, because in reality, I did not excavate that area, and I'm filling this area up with gravel, which is another calculation we can do. So I'm going to triple click on all that and make that a group. I'm cutting off my um, hidden geometry just for now to see how that looks. It looks good, but when I select it, notice I don't have a volume. Okay, so we have a bottom, we have all, it seems like our edges are all closed, but when we did all this, we no doubt threw a monkey wrench into the system. So I'm going to use our um, 
Solid Inspector. Uh, and where did Solid Inspector go? You know what? I'm going to get it back on there and come back. So we now have our proposed grade with our excavation, and we could uh, we could make that look like dirt if we wanted to make it look a little pretty. But let's come back to that. Okay.